hello everyone and welcome back to flo's corner so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make mini donuts using a donut maker i know y'all have been seeing these donut maker machines on the rise on instagram and youtube and stuff so i decided to give it a try so here i purchased this on amazon this is the cucina pro donut maker it makes seven mini donuts i do consider this one a little inexpensive but there are many more out out there that do cost way more but i decided to be a little bit on the cheaper side just so i can see how it works so it pretty much came like this this box unfortunately did not come with the instructions i do think it was probably a mishap in the warehouse but i didn't want to make it a big deal and send it back on anything like that just because i didn't have the little booklet to go with it i kind of figured how it worked so i just used what i knew so there is no lever on like high, medium, or low heat or anything like that. It just pretty much turns on and just heats up pretty much. One con that I do have is that the cord is not long enough. So you have to have a socket right next to you because it doesn't reach far. So because I didn't have the booklet that comes with the recipe, I Googled a lot of different recipes and I came across this one and I decided to give it a try. This is a recipe that I saw for another donut maker. So first you wanna start with two eggs. These are two large eggs and I'm just going to blend them with my hand mixer for a good three minutes to get this egg really frothy so that it can incorporate a lot of air which will help in the process of rising the donuts don't forget to definitely stay all the way to the end of the video because i'm going to be super honest with how i felt about this machine or how i felt about mini donuts in general using a donut maker Now we're going to add one cup of milk followed by one quarter cup of vegetable oil. Then I am going to give that another mix for another 20 seconds. Now you're going to pour a half a cup of granulated sugar followed by one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Start again for another 20 seconds to make sure that all the sugar is incorporated into your mixture. I'm going to take one cup of all-purpose flour and I'm going to pour it into the mixture followed by one tablespoon of baking powder. And then you're just going to give that a good mix until all of the ingredients are combined. I will say that make sure that you have all of your ingredients with no clumps in there because it is so hard to get out when you're using this bottle that I'm going to show you in a few seconds to get out because the clumps are going to the tip, which is making it harder. Now you can also use a piping bag or I've seen um, some use like the ketchup or mustard bottle or however, it's up to your discretion. The goal is to not have any clumps because you just don't want to put it in the machine and then that certain part of the donut doesn't cook, which can be very unpleasant. Now that all of my ingredients are done, now I'm going to plug this baby up and let it start heating up. All I do is I put it in the socket and then open it up so it can get started. This is the bottle that I was talking about. This is one of my drizzle bottles. I actually had a brand new one sitting around. I told you I buy these from Walmart. This would be easier if you had a funnel to actually pour it in there, but I just used my measuring cup and actually I didn't get any spills, so that's great. But I will recommend to definitely have something to guide you to put it in the donut maker instead of just pouring. Now we're gonna go on to greasing our donut maker. I'm just gonna use some vegetable oil and I just have my little baster here and I'm gonna take some and put it onto the little donut hose so that it can grease my um, machine. But I definitely recommend to use some Pam spray because it does the job just as better, if not quicker. But I ran out, so I had to go the old fashioned way, but it's okay. This is actually still good and easy just as well. Make sure to grease the top as well because we do not want our donuts to stick on this machine. And now we are going to get into filling up our donut hose. So pretty much I'm going to take my little spout and I'm just going to squeeze. You can squeeze as hard or gently if you want. And I'm just going to try to fill it up to the top as much as possible, but not to the point where it's actually going over. I will not lie. I have done it and spilled a little bit on the sides and that's okay. I wasn't really trying to make it super pretty 
or however but if you're trying to make this pretty or whatever then obviously do not <laughs> fill it any further than it should just right to that little rim and you'll be fine and also just to note that this donut mix made 40 mini donuts so i know it does say to leave these in between three to five minutes i don't know but i think this machine actually makes a clicking sound when it is time to turn it over because i kept hearing this sound when it was time for me to turn it over so i just assumed it knew when it was done on the bottom so i've tried it many different ways it does not cook the top like it cooks the bottom and that is the reason why it has to be turned you need both sides to brown so definitely make sure to turn your mini donuts i'm using a skewer but you're more than welcome to use a fork or even your hand just be careful if you're unsure you can just open it and lift one up just to look at the bottom to see that it is brown if not then leave it in just a little bit longer it's up to your discretion on when you feel that they are done and how golden brown you want them or if you want it a little bit browner than that so here i'm just repeating this step once again so because this mix made 40 donuts i had to do this six times honestly it sounds like a lot but because they're not in there that long it actually goes by a little bit quicker here is what i said when i got a little bit over but like i said it can happen it's no big deal you can just scoop that little part up you can see that they start to really start cooking as soon as you put them in there like the ones on the side you can see is already bubbling because they're starting to cook and then like i said i just do the process over again once that little clicker goes off then i turn it and get the other side brown like i want it and yeah the process is fairly simple I was able to make 40 donuts in less than an hour and that honestly is cuts down your baking time by a lot which is nice but I definitely want to go into review time on the donut maker now I just wanted to say that even though I felt like I can make a bunch of these in such a less amount of time I'm not a big fan on the flavor of these donuts I just feel that they do not taste like cake donuts like you would make in the oven. They literally had like a spongy feel and pretty much they like kind of bounce back like when you squeeze them and like how you guys always see in a lot of these videos. And honestly, to be real with you, it just kind of tasted like a really different kind of sort of pancake it's funny because my kids looked over when i finished and i placed these on the table and they were like oh mommy pancakes and i was like uh no they're donuts but <laughs> yeah when i tasted them it kind of tastes like that it feels like i could just throw syrup on them and they're like extremely delicious but they are definitely beautiful when it comes to presentation definitely like this video if you guys would like me for for me to decorate this and make it look all cute and everything but yeah i just wanted to give you like my real honest review honestly i have never sold these i've made my cake donuts and i make my yeast donuts that i sell but i've never made the one in the machine i'll kind of you know play with it and see if i would ever put this on my menu but yeah i just wanted to really come on here and just show you guys like the whole craze of this uh mini donut maker that's going very viral not this brand in particular but a lot of these donut making machines that you guys are seeing a lot i really wanted to give this a try to see if i like it myself these are still a good little treat but they're not going to give you the donut feel that you are going to expect when you are biting into them and i just wanted to, you guys to know that but i thank you all for tuning in and i hope to see you on my next video bye